Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. I'm going to post a video for you guys um, putting new fuel lines on a weed eater. I did get some footage and I got some footage of the beginning of this which you're about to see these two clips. Um, I don't know what happened. Again, I checked it as soon as I stopped recording and it was on there but when I went to import it it was not on there so anyhow so I'm doing this for you you get the idea of what's going on I pulled the lines out but I will cut into the next clip it will be me finishing up the lines finishing up putting the lines in the tank and as always as soon as I start recording a car goes past I'm sorry but anyway guys, so I did do that, I did get it running, and I'm going to have more how-to videos on this stuff a lot more here in upcoming days and whatnot. So uh, I, I did get a video of the car starting and how it sounds and everything like that, but of course it wasn't on there either. I started the uh, scooter up, it wasn't on there either, so, but anyhow what I'm doing here is I'm replacing lines on this uh, Boland's weed eater so we'll kind of get into it right when I just started putting the new lines in so anyway you get the idea and it'll give you something to watch so anyway guys thanks for watching so that being said stay tuned here in just a second and you'll get to see that video okay guys we're back see the difference there okay what happened was, where'd it go? This line right here, come on, focus. This camera's not focusing anymore. Anyway, right there, where that came down through, see how tight that is right there? It's kind of tight because it's got to make a seal there. Well, it did get a little brittle, I guess, so that was my problem. It was clogged. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a new. Now I got, I got this started. What I did was I clipped the end of it off at an angle. I'll show you on this old one. Kind of clipped it off. Kind of like a 45 degree. Something like that. And got it started down in there. Now you can use a little WD-40 there. And to lube it up it will not hurt anything even if it goes in the tank remember this is two cycle so it's not going to hurt a darn thing and then you're just going to pull it through and it will stretch now what you can also do is put them in, in hot water and that'll make more pliable but if it's a new hose you shouldn't have to do that now i'm going to make sure i've got it plenty long enough get down to the bottom what I'm going to kind of do is just kind of gauge it by eye see how easy that's coming through there now but you still want to be careful you don't want to rip it you don't want to accidentally cut it with your pliers and whatnot there you go it's nice and free You don't want to go too long, so we're going to kind of gauge it with that. It kind of went up through there, kind of went down. Because you want it directly on the bottom. I might have went a little too far, just pull it back out. This is the filter I was telling you about. This is actually a weight. Uh, same thing with the chainsaw. It's kind of weighted. It's a little heavy to help hold that down to the bottom. And this is your filter. I've cleaned it out and blown it out with compressed air. And uh, there's that. So what I'm going to do though, what you want to do is after you've cut that, cut it off straight. And get as straight as you can. Put your filter back on there. Again, if you got to use a little lubricant, it's fine because... I mean, I wouldn't use like petroleum jelly or anything like that, but a little bit of 
a little bit of WD will not hurt it because like I said it it's a two cycle engine anyway and for that minute amount even if it wasn't it's not going to be enough to get it to smoke now you want that on there fairly snug to keep that because if you don't that comes up you're kind of defeating the purpose of having your uh, your filters to blow through it okay good there's that and yes it's down right there at the bottom of this can you see that that's where you want it laying okay so now I'm going to go ahead and trim this about where it needs to be I don't want too sharp of a turn okay so let's try about right there I think these these uh, lines this line kit see here's another smaller one which I won't use on this application but uh, I, I got those two things pff, I don't know, a couple bucks I mean it was still in my book too much it was like four bucks for a little piece of rubber but you know it is what it is it's petroleum based so anything petroleum based guys you know what that's like now I do remember where this one came off it came off the back like that so it should be good there now this one this thing I did notice I don't know how they kept it from leaking but it did leak around there so I'm just going to do the same thing I'm going to put this right down just right down inside there and I think that's going to give me what I need so yeah so clip this off at an angle this one you won't have to worry about straightening out again because it's not getting anything put on the end of it. So hopefully this will be long enough. If not, I can use a piece of this that is not. This is still uh, nice and free on that end of it. So right, guys, let's get this started down in here. I don't know. Can you guys see this? See what I'm doing here? Now you're upside down for me. I know my tiny little fingers are somehow getting in your guys' way. But see, I cut that in an angle. And what you want to do is try to get the long part in first. And then kind of twist it around. And it should start in there eventually. Oops, there. Almost pushed it out of the way. you are thinking the lines are just too big but they are not they are the right size but like I said they have to fit snug in here so they don't leak but now you can get the next size up that you can make them fit but then they're going to be too snug and it'll kind of have any fuel and you'll go damn it worked before I replaced them what's going on now well that's what could happen I'm about a half an inch in there. I want to get about an inch in here. So we'll see if I can reach it with this. And I don't think I can, but I got something else that will. I've got I've got these. Nice little curve. Let's see if I can get those up in here seems like they need lubed up guys like 
this there we go. a little better there we go got it now bring it now like I said about an inch all it does is just return the fuel back in if you get too much so it does not flood out there we go there you go see it sucking it up in here I don't know if you can see that or not real good let's see what you're looking at here let me zoom in a little bit now watch that back line when I cover this hole watch this line right here as I'm pumping this if I can do that see the bubbles I don't know if you've seen that or not but anyway it's sucking it up through but this has to be closed off to give it suction I did blow the cap out too guys Now we should see some up in the primer bulb here shortly. I don't think I am. Did suck it up into the carburetor, so, but. Primer bulb could be getting weak. If I pull that off of there, I did see it going up in there. Blow through on it. Yeah, it's clear. Let's try this again. I wonder if I got that on the right one. I mean, somebody else could have switched it. Yeah, I was on the right one because I seen it. Second gas up. Okay, yeah, I see bubbles in there, so. Some of this on this, uh on the ball because it does look a little old. I think the bulb's sucking on a little air too. It's going to need replaced. Okay, yeah, I do see it leaking around the bulb. Shit, let me try to get this around here for you. So the bulb is sucking air. Let me unzoom you a little bit. I know it's not focusing. Right in here. See bubbles coming out right there. I doubt if you can see it. So the bulb is leaking. All we can do is try to tighten it for now because I do not have a bulb. A new primer bulb for this. I mean it tightened a little bit. But usually when you see that, they're sucking air. It also has a lot to do with the wet runs too. It's probably what started sucking it up okay sucking it up now I can see it coming up the back tube here I don't know if you guys can see it see it right there it's sucking it up now 
very slowly but I can still see it leaking right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bulb out and try to clean it and we'll see what happens where yet let's take this bulb out Yeah, see? A lot of pressure there. So, sorry guys. See, it's building up a lot of pressure in there. It just should build up some, but I don't think it's supposed to build up that much. So it's not going up in to the bulb itself yet. Okay, I see why right there. See that bulb? Uh, let me get you up here. Right here, see that? The bulb shot. So I need to get a new bulb right there. That's what was going on. That's why it was working sometimes because my finger was covering the hole. Okay. All right, but let's see if it'll run now. Let's go ahead and try to, try to start it up. It's not going to run right, but... like I'm gonna have to check the spark plug for spark it's right there on top right there so let me do that and I'll be back right back with you guys okay guys we're back it does have spark the plug was dry so that meant it wasn't getting fuel so dump a little fuel in there let's see what happens now I uh, dump a little bit down in there and then some through the carburetor uh, this thing, it's not going to stay running because this bulb, you know, this fuel line, it's going to let it suck a lot of air. So I doubt if it'll stay running, but let's see if we can get it to fire. Okay, so all I gotta do is get a primer bulb, and I think we will be good to go. So, and after I do that, I'm sure, of course, I'm gonna have to uh, do some adjusting on the carburetor. Oh, you guys can't see shit. Oh, sorry about that. But anyway, we we'll have to do some adjusting on the carburetor, and I think it'll be all right. Uh, I've had it sitting out back here for many, many months. And 
neglect. I didn't have it in the garage. I had hers. She gave me this one, but I had hers in the garage. But that one, I was like, well, I'm pretty sure it'll run. I just left a laid back there. So uh, that's probably what happened to the primer bulb, guys. Tell you the truth, down here in Florida, man, it's uh, you know hot and and um, he gets to everything. So. You guys remember the video I did on my toolbox? Oh, man, I keep missing you. Uh, my mic even turned on. Yeah, I'll show you my toolbox. I do finally have some tools. I've been buying a little bit at a time. I got you on the tripod. I'm trying to get you in here. Uh, my tools buying a little bit at a time like I said some nice tools uh, this Pittsburgh from you know Harbor Freight I do not work for them they do not uh, sponsor me in any way just some stuff I've bought and over time uh, she bought this for me last week in this light so we can get more light in here. That's all we've got right now. I've got a battery of light blink. What's going on? I'm drinking soda. I've got a battery light blinking. Okay, guys. So. Alright. Um, I want to start the car up for you. I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 I'll do that in my very next video. I'm going to charge this battery and I'm going to start the car and let you listen to it. I think it's got a bad lifter problem. I don't think the top end's oiling right, but I don't know. I haven't really got into it yet, but it just got worse and worse and worse. So, hi, monkey. Hey, baby. She's going. She didn't know I was filming, but it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> she brought Bruno out, gave him a bath, so don't get dirty. So anyway, the battery light's blinking, guys. I'm going to go, monkey. Yeah. Say something. Hi. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. See every damn time car goes but anyway we got this running so i'm going to charge this uh i'm going to charge you guys up and let you hear the chrysler and i'll fire up the little scooter for you and show you what i did for it i'm waiting on some parts but i did get it running it was just a no spark issue and when i got into it it turned out to be so easy to fix i didn't even get the camera rolling so sorry about that but i'll show you guys how to put the new parts in when they get here but i'm going to charge you up and i'll be back with you guys stay tuned for another episode of working in Marty's shop. <laughs> That's what you're coming there, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start working here, so so that's another story I'll get yeah. into. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll be alright. So anyway guys, uh we'll be back with you and Monkey will be back with you and Bruno will be back with you, so all right? Yeah. Yep. Alright. All right. Stay tuned for the next episode of messing around here. Just little updates and firing things up. Let's start some things and and uh, get some videos made for you guys. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear. I'm gone. Bye, bye, guys.